two dice are rolled simultaneously and counts are added. Complete the table given below. And the second bit, a student argues that there are 11 possible outcomes. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Therefore, each of them has a probability 1 by 11. Do you agree with him and justify your answer? This is the table. I shall repeat the question. Two dice are rolled simultaneously. Simultaneously means at the same time. Two dice are thrown out. And counts are added. Counts means scores. Scores are added. Complete the table given below. Here is the table and we have to fill up these columns. And the second bit, a student argues that there are 11 possible outcomes. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Therefore, each of them has a probability 1 by 11. Do you agree with him and justify your answer? Here are the dice. There are two dice here in my hand, both in white color and two dice are in red color. You can observe that there are six faces and there are scores also in each of the face. The scores may start from one. The minimum value or the minimum score is one and the maximum score on the die is six. You might have seen these dice in our regular life. Now if you look at the table, here this column is meant for sum on two dice. Means if we throw a die, the minimum value or the minimum score you get is 1. If you throw two dice at the same time, then the minimum value on the first die is 1 and the second die minimum value is also 1. If you add sum up, means if you add them, then the minimum value if you roll two dice is 2. Similarly, the maximum value if you roll two dice is on the first die, the maximum value is 6 and on the second die, maximum value is 6. Therefore, in total, the maximum value is 6 plus 6 is 12. Here I have two dice in my hand and I am rolling them at the same time. If I roll, I got 2 and 5 as scores on their faces. In order to solve this problem, you have to add both the scores so that you have to find the probability of each of the cases. Now let us solve this question. Here this is the solution. In order to solve this, we took a table. These are the scores on the first die. The first die, if I throw the first die, the scores may start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. And on the second die also, you may turn up either 1 or you may get 2 or the score may be 3 or you may get 4, 5 or 6. These are the scores on the second die and these are the scores on the first die. Now we are rolling both the dice at the same time. Means the first die score may be 1 and the second die score may also be 1. Or first die score may be 1 and the second die score may be 2. Or first die score may be 1 and the second die may turn up 3. Or first die may get 1 and on the second die we may get 4. Or the score on the first die may be 1 and the score on the second die is 5. Or the score of the first die is 1 and the second die may be 6. Similarly, the first die score may be 2 and the second die score may be 1. First die score may be 3 and the second die score may be 1. In all these ordered pairs, the first value always represents the score of the first die. The first value always represents the score on the first die. Whereas, the second value represents the score on the second die. These are the second die values. And these are the first day values. For example, if you consider an ordered pair 4, 5. This 4, the first value represents the score of the first day. And second value represents the score on the second day. Now, in order to find out the probability, the formula to find probability of an event 
is equal to number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. Here, the sum on two dies. Here, it should be two. In order to get two, in order to get the sum of both the scores to be two, here how many possibilities are there? You can verify. There is only one added pair. Whose sum is two? You see, one plus one is two, and there is no any other added pair whose sum is two. Therefore, the number of favorable outcomes is one, and the total number of outcomes. Here, how many outcomes are there? You can see all these are outcomes. Out of all these, you see we can count them. Here, how many columns we have? We have six columns here and six rows. Therefore, in total, the total number of outcomes is six into six. There are thirty-six outcomes. In total, the total number of outcomes is equal to thirty-six. Therefore, for all these questions. The total number of outcomes is thirty-six only. Now, sum to be two. In order to get two, there is only one ordered pair. Therefore, number of favorable outcomes is one, and the total number of outcomes is thirty-six. Therefore, the probability to get sum as two is the favorable outcomes is one by the total number of outcomes thirty-six. It is one by thirty-six. Now to get sum three, the ordered pairs two one and one two. How many favorable outcomes are here? This is one and this is two. There are two favorable outcomes whose sum is three. Therefore, the probability is favorable outcomes two by total number of outcomes thirty six. Two by thirty six and simplified value is one by eighteen. To get sum four. In order to get sum four, you see three one is one possibility, two two is the second possibility, and one three is the third possibility. Therefore, favorable outcomes is three. Total number of outcomes is thirty six. You can cancel three on both sides. Means you will get one by twelve. To get sum five, the favorable outcomes this is one, two, three, and four. Therefore, four by thirty six. And simplified value one by nine. To get sum six, this is one, two, three, four, and five. There are five favorable outcomes, and total number of outcomes is thirty-six. Therefore, the probability to get sum as six is five by thirty-six. To get sum seven, this is one, two, three, four, five. And six. There are six favorable outcomes. By total number of outcomes is thirty-six, and by simplification you will get one by six. Similarly, to get eight, one, two, three, four, and five, five by thirty-six. To get nine, one, two, three, four, four by thirty-six, which is equal to one by nine. To get some ten, one. Two and three, three by thirty-six, one by twelve. To get eleven, this is one and this is two. There are two favorable outcomes. Two by thirty-six, simplified value one by eighteen. To get some twelve, there is only one ordered pair, and all in all other remaining cases, the sum is less than twelve only. Therefore, here the probability to get sum as twelve is one by thirty-six. This is how we solve the first bit. Now, if you look at the second bit, a student argues that there are only eleven outcomes, but we just come across a table and we counted the number of outcomes as thirty-six. Therefore, our answer is no. I do not agree with the student. Why? Because total number of outcomes is equal to thirty-six, but what he is saying is saying that there are only eleven. What is the reason? The reason is the events are not equally likely. Thank you. Thank you, Ananda.